August 16th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Colossians chapter 4 from the New Testament. Masters, treat your slaves with justice and fairness, because you know that you also have a master in heaven. Be devoted to prayer, keeping alert in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray for us too, that God may open a door for the message so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ for which I am in chains. Pray that I may make it known as I should. Conduct yourselves with wisdom toward outsiders, making the most of the opportunities. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you should answer everyone. Tychicus, a dear brother, faithful minister, and fellow slave in the Lord, will tell you all the news about me. I sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are doing, and that he may encourage your heart. I sent him with Onesimus, the faithful and dear brother who is one of you. They will tell you about everything here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, sends you greetings, as does Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, about whom you received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice, also sends greetings. In terms of Jewish converts, these are the only fellow workers for the kingdom of God, and they have been a comfort to me. Epaphras, who is one of you and a slave of Christ, greets you. He is always struggling in prayer on your behalf, so that you may stand mature and fully assured in all the will of God. For I can testify that he has worked hard for you, and for those in Laodicea and Hierapolis. Our dear friend Luke, the physician, and Demas greet you. Give my greetings to the brothers and sisters who are in Laodicea, and to Nymphia and the church that meets in her house. And after you have read this letter, have it read to the church of Laodicea. In turn, read the letter from Laodicea as well. And tell Archippus, see to it that you complete the ministry you received in the Lord. I, Paul, write this greeting by my own hand. Remember my chains. Grace be with you. God, as I said a couple days ago, I just love Colossians. That it just, Paul's writing just reflects so many facets of you in Colossians. We, we just get to see God saturated. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this little uh, nugget that's right in the middle of this last chapter of this letter that's all about prayer. And it teaches us very specifically about prayer. To pray at all times. To focus on our blessings. To thank you for all of the amazing things that you give us. And then remember to pray for other people, especially those who are doing mission work. Who are doing ministry work out there. You know, sometimes when we're in communication with you in prayer, a lot of times we're just asking for things. Can your will be done in this? Can you, if it's your will, heal this person? Can you do this? Can you do this? And it becomes very self-focused. And I was just talking to a friend of mine earlier tonight who's not Christian and that I would pray for her for a situation. I was texting her that I pray for a situation she's in. And she said thank you. And I said, yeah, it's just, you know, if you're in a relationship, it's just a great way to communicate by talking. It, it helps grow the relationship. And she, she smiled back and she said, I know that's just a great system to have to get to be able to talk to God. Um, you know, my little inroads and in talking to her about you, God. But it's, it's, such a huge part that if we have a relationship with anybody else one we need to communicate with them uh, we need to talk to them uh, we need to be kind to them and loving to them if we want to continue having a relationship and Paul even talks about that right after this little prayer piece of conduct yourself or conduct yourselves appropriately with people outside of you be kind to them be gracious to them be loving to them and if we were in a relationship, and I have some relationships like this, if all we did was talk about ourselves, that relationship would be one, very, very shallow, and two, may not last because it's all about us. And you're saying, 
Let me be really clear, it needs to be not all about you. It needs to be not all about the things you think I can do for you. It's not a one-way intercom system. I'm giving you a chance to have a relationship with me. Talk to me all the time. Be constantly in prayer. I've, I've given you this amazing language that you can talk to me through. Do it all the time so that we can have this crazy, awesome relationship. And then you say, and be thankful, be gracious. I don't always want to talk to you when you're whining and complaining about stuff. I, I get that. I, I very much understand that. Be thankful. I'm trying to do all these amazing things in your life. I'm trying to give you the best of everything. Be thankful for it. And then always keep in your prayers the people who are out there who are doing this work for me. The people who are on missions, who are in ministry work, uh, the people who are pastors and teachers. And it's amazing, God, that I truly appreciate my pastors more and more with all the work that, that you've blessed me with with Daily Video Bible. Um, some of the, the times when I don't think I have the strength to record one more video uh, or code one more website or put one more thing up on social media, just because I'm so exhausted, I'm constantly trying to do whatever is best for Daily Video Bible. And then your strength just amazingly shows up and overpowers me and says, we can do it. With me, you can do all things. And God, it's just this incredible feeling. And I know that that comes from prayers from other people of, gosh, we know Janelle's doing this ministry and she has these amazing people who are helping her and we're going to pray for them and we're going to pray for strength. We're going to pray for protection. We're going to pray for knowledge and understanding. We're going to pray for grace and mercy so that they can talk to other people. I know those came from prayers from other people, God, and it's amazing. So thank you for this just amazing little wonderful gift in the middle of this letter that Paul is writing that is all about you. And he says, by the way, you get to talk to God all the time. It's not one way where he is constantly talking to you. It's not one way where you're constantly talking to him. It's a relationship and he's giving you prayer to do this. Please do it at all times. Be devoted to talking to God at all times. Be thankful for everything he has given you. And please, in your prayers, pray for strength and help and endurance and health for all of the people out there on missions work, in ministry work. God, most of us will never experience true mission work. Most of us will never be in jail, in chains. Well, at least I hope not. Um, most of us won't understand that. But what we do understand is the rejection, not only of words we say in social media, people making fun of us. Uh, I'm getting bullied right now by somebody. Um, all of those prayers for people in those situations help overcome that so much. The prayers of protection. So I just want to thank you, God. I want to thank you, obviously, for everything you've given me. I woke up this morning. Today has been a great, healthy day. I have amazing, amazing kind friends. So many blessings went throughout my life as opportunities came to talk about you, to talk with other people, to pray with one person. That was just awesome. God, I just can't thank you enough for the blessings that you give me, that you overwhelm me with minute by minute by minute. The Daily Video Pro Bible Project is, is amazing because it's all about you. And I'm still not sure why you chose me to do it, but I'm incredibly honored and blessed. And I have learned so much in our relationship it has become so much deeper since January 1st, since those first recordings started going out. And most of all today, I just want to thank you for giving us an opportunity to communicate with you. You know, I text back to my friend and I said, all of us get an opportunity to use that language through prayer. All of us can talk to God through prayer. And God, I just hope that everyone listening today just stops and takes a moment to talk to you. To say, hey God, thanks. 
Thanks for allowing me to talk to you. Thanks for my life today. Thanks for the blessings. I just really appreciate it. And through those blessings and through the joy that you've given me in all situations, let me walk the life that you want me to walk today. Let my life be God-willed, that my path be the one that you've set before me. Let me be a reflection of your grace and your mercy and your patience and your kindness and your love. So that as Paul talks about in his letter, that we can be gracious in our speech to outsiders. And we can answer everyone with your amazing love. In your son's name I pray. Amen.